For the past few weeks, Fresno State students, staff, and faculty have been making personal protective equipment with these 3D printing machines. I, I like to be able to help out the best I can. Uh, that's why I'm here, and that's why all of us are here. Um, so it's, it's nice to be able to apply our coursework and help our community the best we can. That's what we're doing here. These mechanical engineering students are printing different kind of masks, which were designed and approved by mechanical engineering alums. The team plans to donate these face masks and face shields to CRMC and other surrounding medical facilities. And so the one that, we, that we're currently making quite a few of, uh, they liked that they're able to wear their goggles with these ones specifically, yeah. Yeah, and they're also comfortable. Fresno State Professor Tai Yin says fighting the pandemic will take more than just standard protective face shields. Some need to be specifically modified. Seeing the pandemic uh, hitting the, the valley and California, we anticipate that there may be a shortage on uh, PPE, pro personal protective equipment, including uh, face shield, face mask, also the uh, purified air. Like the one Professor Yen is wearing, he says these would be used for treating COVID-19 patients in ICUs. And although they have just made one so far, they plan on making 10 to 15 more in the week to come. This one will pro provide the positive pressure so that whatever uh, the person wearing it breathes out, it won't come back into their lungs and things that inside the air won't get into this chamber. Now each face shields cost about a dollar and fifty cents to make reporting live at Fresno State. I'm Kaylee Hunt, KC24, local news that matters.